In this video, I'm going to share with you the best defense that everyone should be using. I think some people know about it, not everybody knows about it. So we're going to talk about it in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And I'm super, super jacked up to share this defense with you. I've been working on this kind of under the scene, uh, behind the scenes uh, for the last probably month. And that is the San Francisco 49ers defensive ebook. Now, if you're uh, if you've not picked up the ebook yet, be sure to join the Patreon by joining the patreon you're going to get access to all of my madden 22 ebooks for one price of just 10 bucks uh, again there's a link in the description below if you want to join the patreon membership uh, i would really appreciate it and it does help me out a ton and i think it's going to help you out a ton because you're going to get access to all like i said of my madden 22 ebooks now uh, what we're going to talk about today is a coverage scheme out of the dollar three to six. You can do this out of other defenses. Uh, I talk about this in my San Francisco ebook. I just put a 45 minute update, uh, more in depth about this coverage, uh, than what I'm going to go into today. Uh, but this defense is really, really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out. The cool part about San Francisco is it's got the best nickel normal in the game. It's got the best nickel wide nine in the game. And it also has dollar three two six. So this is more of like a passing situational defense. Um, you can do the run commit glitch if you want to to stop the run. Uh, but this is what I like to do. So dollar three two six. We're just gonna sub in uh, safeties at this linebacker position. Uh, so whoever you want, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, like I said, I just put safeties in there. In there, and then we're gonna utilize this cover one robber press. Cover one robber is by far in my opinion as the game sits right now if you have the right theme team if you have the right players if you have the right adjustments this defense is really 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 good so i'm just going to come out and kind of the bunch meta uh and talk through this against certain plays uh out of this so again we're just going to kind of set up some basic stuff here um and then i'm going to talk about some of how why this is so good so uh from an adjustment perspective we're going to come out and cover one robert press and then our adjustments are going to be fairly simple. Uh, so what I like to do uh, out of this cover one robber press is, I'm going to go ahead and move the ball uh, back here, just give me a little bit more room. But what I like to do out of this cover, I like it out of cover one, and the reason why, I don't, I can't quite explain the full uh, reason why in this video, I talk about it a lot more in the ebook, but cover one robber is significantly better than two man under this year. Last year, two man under was significantly better than cover one robber. And it's just the way that these defenses work, but I would really encourage you to try a cover one style of defense, um, specifically a cover one press style of defense. I love press coverage this year, at least as it sits right now. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna press our coverage. What I like about dollar is that you see you're gonna get press animations from all three of those players. Then we're gonna crash our D-line out. Um, and then what I like to do is I actually like to put both of my linebackers in hard flats. I like to bluff blitz my nose tackle. So you see it looks like this right here so far. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use her this weak side uh, safety, Devin McCourty. And lastly, I'm going to put that solo safety on the bunch side into a purple zone. So you see it looks kind of like this. If you want to put the middle linebacker on the right side in a deep blue, you certainly can do that. But what you're going to see here is against pretty much everything, this is going to play really, really good coverage. As you can see right there, uh, if you get a running back wheel route, that's kind of your job. Um, but normally you're not going to get a running back wheel route. You're going to get a running back angle route. You're going to get a running back in route. Or you're going to get a running back out route. And so the three rack and the double flatting uh, to me is enough to stop that. Uh, another thing that I like to do is you could flat the left of screen linebacker. And then you could take the nose tackle, put him on a bluff blitz, and then you could take the linebacker on the right side and man him up on the running back. That'll take care of pretty much anything the running back's going to do. Um, and then you're going to put that guy in a purple zone. So you see how this defense looks right here. Now, when you press coverage, you have an option with bunch. You could. I would not advise uh, shading outside. Um, I just because the the post routes are so good from bunch. This year, people, when they see you run this defense, they're going to start running post routes from their solo receiver. They're going to start running bunch trail, uh, essentially. So uh, what I like to do to counter that is if they want to run bunch trail, that is perfectly fine with me. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to hit triangle, the X button. We're going to hit that solo receiver's icon, and we're going to shade 
to the right. You're going to notice that it's going to move that quarterback to the inside. And what you're going to see here is if he plays pretty good coverage, he actually got beat off the line there. Um, he's going to be fine. Now, um, one thing I will say is in month, this is going to work a lot better than regs. The reason why is because of the ability of the mutt players to have over 90 press uh if you have over 90 press in this game it's very difficult to get beat off of the press okay so that's just something you can kind of tuck away uh in the back of your mind that the theme team that i would recommend for running something like this would be the cowboys or the patriots or the broncos uh those are the best theme teams in my opinion so here you see now doesn't get bumped off the press and then you'll see he'll be able to close and catch up to that route Okay, so to me, this is right now my favorite defense. Um, the only thing you have to really worry about for Bunch is if they have a route running ability on their slot, the play Flood is probably the best play to beat this coverage. And I'll just show it real quick here. So if you get a Flood concept, you see, he gets, you see how he lights up and then he beats that man. So what you could do to stop this, like I said, is just put that purple zone out there by that that defender. If you want to leave this three wreck, you honestly could. If you wanted to run it like this, this is also really a good way to run this play. And uh, what you'll see now is, you know, let's say I'm gonna uh, let's say I'm gonna play like bunch trail or I'm gonna play like flood. Now that corner route is gonna be running right into that purple zone, and it's gonna kind of get bracketed by the main coverage and the purple zone defender. Another little trick of the trade, if you're ever worried about the press beating you, you can shade over the top. Um, if you shade over the top, I will tell you, you're going to be very vulnerable to underneath routes like zigs and stuff like that. But you will also see here that for the most part, it plays everything else fine. And it's more of like a, a safer version of this coverage. Uh, but my personal recommendation would be literally just come out, press your coverage, if and then I would individually shade uh, that guy on that other side, on the, the solo side, inside, because if he runs a skinny post, now you've got inside inside uh, contain, and as you can see, I mean, the, the sheds you get at a dollar are probably the best sheds in the game. So um, I would try this defense out. I'm telling you right now, it's by far my favorite defense I've ran all season. If you want to learn more about this defense, how to combine this with some of my match concepts, grab that San Francisco guide. Uh, you can get everything by joining the Patreon. I did a 45-minute tutorial uh, last night on this defense. This defense is really, really good. I've tried out all the abilities too, and I have certain abilities that I recommend that's going to make this scheme way, way, way better. Um, and so anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about this defense, be sure to join that Patreon membership. There's a link to do that in the description. So if you're wanting to join the Patreon, head on down to the description right now and click that link that I put down there for you. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.